Hello and welcome Gemini. This is your December 2022 general reading with myself Thomas Janak and my guest Kyra Shaw. And the um, I will leave her contact details in the description box below. Please, please, please check check her out, so to speak. Um, and uh, yeah, make make use of the guests that are on uh, air, so to speak. I always really enjoy having guests because it gets a bit lonely. I can you know, when you when you do this, and it uh, feels like you're talking to yourself, you know. Yeah. And, just gonna, uh, and I can see myself in the camera. That doesn't help. <laughs> so I'm always grateful for having guests, and I also know from the feedback that you guys gave me that you enjoy this, right? So in any case, what we will do here, we will look into three sections, or we will divide the reading into sort of three areas. Namely, we will look at the overall energy for the month of December 2022 for the sign of the twin, that's you baby, Gemini, uh, before we then look into your emotional core, see what can go, maybe there's love coming in, that sort of stuff. And then last year we look at opportunities, and opportunities for the most part are about what sort of sustains you financially, if that makes sense. So please like, subscribe and share. It helps us grow the channel. And if you like my work, which I know you do, it's just time you have to admit it, <laughs> um, you can buy me a coffee. You can support the channel by just buying me a coffee. Basically you spend a fiver, I get four pounds 48. From that money I can buy me a coffee. Right? So that's the idea. And the easiest way is to do this by going to www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. With no further ado, Gemini. Here is the overall energy for the month of December 2022 for your very sign. Okay, okay, so the first card I pulled was assertiveness. So it's what I'm getting that there's maybe like a situation that's going on where you've probably not spoken your truth and you've kind of like dulled it down a little bit because you don't want to offend anyone and you don't want to kind of like make yourself look bad or make yourself look like you're being too pushy maybe. I'm very much getting that you, you you're kind of like stepping into the shadows instead of like being like look right this is what i've got to say this has upset me or this is how i feel and it's literally just your time to say like look no my voice matters my truth matters and it's my time to be heard so it's just basically saying like approach the situation not not so much as a bullet a gate but very much with confidence and assertiveness and just like look like this is what I, how I've been feeling and this is what I need to say and just say it with confidence um, the people around you will understand I'm not getting any kind of like bad energy from me I'm not getting like anyone's going to take it the wrong way I think they'll probably respect you a little bit more for setting those extra boundaries but it's very much just saying you know you need you just need to speak up a little bit more and be heard and we also have got the relationship card but i'm not getting this is kind of like a intimate relationship this is a relationship with yourself and i think it kind of like follows on from the assertiveness card so it's very much kind of because you're not speaking your truth you're damaging that relationship with yourself and you've not kind of like got that self-love and it's just basically saying just, just, you need to start loving yourself and working on having confidence and uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Balance. I can't get my thinking of the word then. Um, just a bit more balance, you know. Like it's it's okay to kind of like not so much put yourself out for other people, but you know you can't just put yourself constantly on the back burner. And this card's just basically saying, look, right, you need to look after yourself a little bit more. You need to have a little bit more self love. Um, Normally when I get this card, it is kind of like an intimate relationship, but I'm not getting that energy from this. It's very much the relationship within yourself and you've been neglecting yourself a little bit, which is probably why the assertiveness card has come out as well. And then finally, we got the acceptance card, which quite literally falls on quite nicely from the two I've just pulled. And it's just see yourself through other people's eyes once you've spoken your truth and you've said how you feel. You'll be surprised how accepting people are of that. And they'll respect you a lot more, you'll set those boundaries and you won't be having these kind of like, oh, okay, well, I weren't too keen on that sort of feelings. You'll be like, oh, okay, you'll feel quite uplifted is what I'm getting and you'll feel refreshed for it. Okay, thank you very much. And remember, you are Gemini, which is the sign of the twins. And Castor and Pollux is sort of what the, the, the twins were named after, if that makes sense. And um, the idea is that at times Gemini misses the twin which is just uh, an analogy for sometimes not finding that inner voice that, that, that gives you that 
yeah, you go for it, say something kind of energy, um, which is one of your traits. It's how Gemini works, if that makes sense. And um, the only person to blame is you, <laughs> because the idea is that you will, <laughs> no, the idea is that, that you decide to whom you're being born to where and when. So in other words, you chose to be Gemini. And what that means in spades is that you have this idea about justice. And that makes sense in the moment, but the moment you're not really finding your, your justice, not setting the record straight, you will suffer. And it is in your Gemini energy to have it have difficulties at times with speaking up. And this also can lead to sort of um, self-esteem issues from time to time. You can hear noises in the background is my cat, probably a fur ball. Doesn't sound <laughs> life threatening. Um, here we go. So let's look at your um, emotional core. This is, um, as you, you probably noticed, this is all connected and related. So this, my niche here, the, mm -hmm. the emotional core, pretty much follows on from this, especially with the relationship to yourself and you have solitude and inner peace. Now the solitude energy does not mean for you to remove yourself, but the solitude is because you're missing your twin, is to learn to trust your inner voice that is always present and you do not need outside validation at all. And when you really reflect on what is it I'm seeing here, the answers are right there. Because you have the inner peace energy card right next to it, when you take a little bit of um, self-reflection, you will probably notice that sometimes you put yourself in places where you struggle and so this is a bit of, a, of the self-esteem thing here and the inner peace is saying if you could just allow yourself to not be so harsh on yourself that would make a big difference because inner peace in the month of december for the sign of gemini is right here so when it comes to how you feel inner peace is on offer right it just feels to me that at times you're really struggling <laughs> to um to acknowledge your own self-worth, if that makes sense. Sounds a very harsh reading for you, Gemini. It's not meant that way. <laughs> My voice just carries. But remember, you, you click on the video for reading. We only work here. We have no idea what the guides are saying. And they're saying all this because they care about you. And they want you to be happy. Okay? So lastly, um, now we look at opportunities for the months of December 2022 for your very sign and opportunities for the most part will likely be about um, what sustains you financially and where and when and if opportunities will come your way. Have I mentioned that I want you to like, subscribe and share? Probably have. Please like, subscribe and share. Now, there I said it. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Hey, Fitch. Okay. So we got um, the wedding card, but this doesn't mean like you go to a wedding it means the unity of two souls so a lot of the time it tends to be within like a business perspective so you could be looking for a new job if you are it's going to work out pretty well i feel um it's just basically saying that there's somebody coming into your life and you will recognize them by feeling familiar even though you've not met them before you're like oh okay right i feel like i know this energy and it's just that's universe bringing them to you and just like this is the person that you need and it's literally the unity of two souls coming together and it's just going to bring you that inner peace thank you very much mm -hmm. and the unity of two souls it was gemini is all about you are the sign of the twin mm -hmm. so that you have that energy card so to speak um is really really quite something because your sign by default relates to the unity of two souls so to speak by default which means any opportunities that come to you will be more powerful simply because they're coming to you. Right? Okie dokie. Um, see you all in the new year. Have a lovely Christmas. Don't drink and drive. Right? Don't do things I wouldn't do. I can't drive. <laughs> I can still drink. In any case, see you all next month. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. <laughs>